Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of Bruin Build. Today we are going to be working on the uh, sea gate, um, that big old white wall of diorite that is just in between the little bay area over there. Um, but first I thought we should jump in to a time lapse because I worked quite a bit on the dock area, expanding it and making it a bit uh, more fleshed out and more dock looking currently the what you rem remember it as is it has no real ports <laughs> uh, it was not a very good dock honestly um, and we have changed that and I've done a lot of work on that and so we've I've got a time lapse for you of that and uh, I will say I just haven't been I haven't been able to get Optifine and the replay mod to work very well because I've been using the wrong type of or try I was trying to get the wrong type of Optifine to work um, for the replay mod but I think I have a solution um, and if that doesn't work then I guess this problem will just continue but um, the main problem is that <clears throat> and excuse the noise sorry the air conditioner is coming on so I don't die um, main problem is the all the crates uh, because of how they work in the texture pack they kind of need optifine to work and uh so i don't know why it does it without optifine they turn in their uh purple and black squares so yeah it doesn't look that fabulous and i'm definitely trying to figure out what in the world to do with uh, optifine to get it to work so we don't have weird purple and black squares but if not then I don't know not sure man um, but so let's jump on into that
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse that we had, and I'm just gathering up materials for what our project for today is. Um, and so we can take a look see in person now what the docks look like. Let's take a look see up here. I don't know if anything spawned last night. My father came into the room and I clicked escape to pause the game and it unpaused it. Or it knocked me out of bed, I mean. Um, so, this is what we've got going here for the docks now. Much better I think it's much uh, much more complete feeling uh, because now there's actually ports that ships can go in what I'm imagining I don't imagine this to be a big galleon ship sort of area um, if you're wondering these if you didn't see these are redstone thingies I think those look pretty good make for some lighting so creepers and stuff stop spawning on my docks um, but I decided to take this texture variation and continue it over here because I figured there's going to be a lot of uh, traffic, I guess, coming through here. Uh, so it would not be cl clean and pristine. And as you can see, these are the purple and black crates that <laughs> were in the time lapse. I need to figure that out, figure out Optifine, see if I can get it to work. Uh, it's just a one, I'm playing in 1.12.2, and so it's, there's some weird issues with that currently. Um, but I'll get it figured out. Um, so, I decided to keep the texture variation from over there. I didn't put the path block in because I figured it would be a little strange. Um, so I decided to go with a mixture. I added in the trap door because it adds a nice variation of the oak planks. Um, I think it looked good. Ugh, looks good. Uh, and I added little buttons to be like, I don't know, little knobs on the wood or little clumps of dirt or something I don't know what have you um, and I I'm really happy with this I did I added this railing just to be more of a because of the way the pathway is this is like a main pathway it's not like this is out of the way and only dock workers are gonna be here this could be a main pathway to get to the market and um, so I figured it needed some sort of railing. Don't want no little hobbit kids falling into the water because they will drown and they will die. Um, and then over here, this is what I imagine to be, I don't know if we'll, ever, if we'll actually get to this before we move to the gypsy camp. Um, but this I imagine to be the sort of customs house, mainly because we're gonna be building, uh, oh, and I extended it over here as you saw, and added a little pathway up to the tower. Um, this is what we're going to be working on today. I have a design all made in the creative world, so if we don't finish it, I can at least show you in there. Um, and one second, let me go turn the air conditioner off. So the custom house, I think it's going to be here because it's going to be the area where they check all of the different um, things that are coming into the town. And because of where it has positioned, um, I think that... I think it's a good location because it's right here. Of course, I just am a dingus and fall right off. Um, let's put you on the notebook. Okay, never mind. Um, so it's positioned right here. And if you come out across here, we could make a little um, small bay, not bay, but like a out here. This wall section, we could have the customs house like have a hallway that runs all the way down here and connects, and has a small dock like a, a checkout checking dock or I don't know what it would be called, but a, a dock where they would be doing all the checking um, outside of the town before they can bring goods in. Sorry, got distracted. Um, we're gonna jump right on into this, and I'm actually really excited to start this because I really like the design I came up with. We've got all this nasty stuff here. Uh, it's not nasty, I love this stuff. Um, let's see, so actually no, we're gonna wait till we get to four so we can be efficient. Uh, it's going to be a three wide door, uh, like C gate doorway. Uh, reason being is I want to be able to walk across it. Uh, now you, <laughs> it walk across it if it's closed like it's a continuation of the wall you can get from one end to the other uh, without having to go all the way around uh, I feel like that's pretty uh, would be a pretty good uh, design to implement now I need to check here I believe 
that it goes, yeah, it goes one, two, three, and then, so it's got this, one, two, this, oh, one, two, give me you back, thank you, thank you, and then we've got a uh, little, that's probably the hardest way to do it, I don't know why I did it like that, then we're going to have a pillar right here. And these pillars will come up one, two, three, four, and then this is, it comes up what? Here, here, I believe. If I am looking at my screenshot correctly, here, here, and then, all right, all right. So it's gotta be like that, and then, we have this, like this, and then these, I believe, are just like this. Actually, for now, since that's actually going to be changed, uh, this won't be. That'll be like that. This will end up, ultimately, being a slab. And then these two... That's like that, 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 like that. And then we can go down here and we can clear this out. Should be good like that. And then, whoop, right like that. Oops, right there. And then the same exact thing shall be go in and then this is going to be a little bit like that give me you back just like that and then we will build this up here right like this and we probably will honestly do more how do we want this? Like this, I believe? If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Like this. And then it looks like the sun is going down, so we will have to run away like scared children and sleep. All right. So that's there. Oh, the bit's right here. It's like I planned this. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's what the base... Let me sleep. Definitely time for bed. Let me sleep. Thank you. So what we're going for is it should be, we should be able to place stairs underneath these logs. And then it should be three tall in the middle. Boop, boop, like that. And then it's one, two, three. Beautiful, I, 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 all right. I was gonna say I'm a great builder. And then I go and place these things here. And these are not going to become... Oh, they are. They did become full source. Awesome. Okay. And now we need... This is where it gets fun and tricky. At the same time, we should get rid of this die right. Because we don't need it. And then... I'm going to leave the bottom hollow, I think, just in case I want to get inside this to do if I need to get inside it for some reason except for that give me the die right back whoa squid you're invading my space all right um and then we're gonna take some of this here and we're going to go um actually I'm not going to I lied I just lied to you I'm sorry we're gonna go like that and then we should be able to go we will go like this, a redstone square there, and then a redstone square there, and then miss the lily pad, and then go a redstone square there, and then that there, and there, and there. Yay. Okay, now we'll go, we'll just leave it hollow for now, because it's going to go like that. <gasps> Come on, let me in. All right, we'll just do the whole jump. 
and we place that on our side, but whatever. So it should go like that, and then uh, oh, they're in my offhand. Okay, I was like, where did my other ones go? We, I guess we should, we need to fill it in. Go like that, and then you can go away and go like that. So that's the overall look we're gonna go to. Oh, that's great, that went right there. So that there, you right like that, and then oop, you like that, and you like that. All right, so this is what the Seagate will look like, minus that. Um, and it is, if you actually closed it, it would they wouldn't fit together. Um, but this is what the overall Seagate look is going to be. Um, this is the a closed door. It's going to be two. Um, so you've got, and this is just one side, obviously. Repeat on both sides. And at night, it, it ties in, I think, really well with the look we've got going here. And it, I think, looks like a pretty solid wall as well. Um, but you can also walk across it and I that was the key a key feature that I wanted to keep um, and oh these need um, these need uh, actually um, need a couple redstone blocks underneath them which is fine because they'll be covered up just like that boom 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 Okay, and then we'll do that, and uh, I guess we'll go like that, and like that. Cool. Yeah, so you've got this nice little walkway you can walk across, and if it's closed, then guards, people, or really anybody on the walls can actually make it across perfectly fine. Um, with our design, uh, that I'm going to go ahead and design the diagonal because it's a little wonky and it'd be easier to just walk through rather than build because it's going to take a lot of me mumbling about if the blocks are right or not. Um, but the diagonal makes it, the way Minecraft works and the way the fences line up, I can't actually walk across it. But that's okay. Um, so I'm going to build the diagonal and then bring it back and show you the final result and then i think that'll probably do it for this episode all right guys so i am done with the diagonal piece now had to get a little bit more wood used a lot more than i actually thought it did um and we're gonna take a look see at it now oh we should get a direct head-on look that's better that's better professional professional youtube stuffs let's get on this little light here I think it looks really good. I really enjoy it. Let's get in a... Our boat's already in the middle of the water. Not a convenient place for the boat to be. So what we did... Easier to control this way. At least in my opinion it is. So what we did is basically repeated that side, the right side. Except I did it at a diagonal so that we can... It, <laughs> oh no. Okay, you can uh, figuratively get in there. Just don't try and ride boats in there. That's, that's, you can't, it, it's not all the way open. It's mid opening. Mid open. But I think it looks really good. Uh, I had to do a little bit of uh, sketchy stuff here with the uh, trap doors just to get it so that it wouldn't show the redstone because here it's flat really easy can just put these all the way down so we had to mix up the wood planks a little bit in there to make it look kind of like this but I don't think it looks bad especially from afar if you look at it from afar I'm glad boats don't break anymore because that would have definitely broken but if you look at it from afar and like head on it looks pretty consistent I would say yeah you get a little horizontal vertical line action going on but other than that it's it's pretty consistent and if we take a look see at the top you'll see why it doesn't it can actually um like we can't walk across it so we've got nice walkway here and then 
these lanterns can't be lit because the redstone shows through like the block on this would show through the stair um and so i guess it i think that's fine this li lit up i think signifies safe to walk not open and not lit up signifies don't walk on here the door is opening stuff's happening you'll die sort of situation um but you can see kind of what i mean and i literally just i just ran off i just ran off no jumping needed i am skilled don't ever make me go into a parkour course because i will literally die just run off cliff edges and die and i don't even know why i dropped down there okay all right all right that's what messed me up the fence block <laughs> okay we made it <laughs> So this is why, like, you can't you can't walk through this little gap, and that's the gap we have right here. You can walk right here if it's all fences, um, but can't do it if it's a block and a fence next to each other. Um, just pro tip. Also, something fun. This will never like never be of any use. That needs to be changed. Don't have any cobblestone. So the way uh, something I like to do to make my builds even more that much more realistic is to have actual functional things if they worked uh, per se i guess as functional as you can get them so like this is like the locking mechanism so you've got these gaps and this one is opposite so this one starts down here at the bottom and this one up here is at the top and meets and has a stair facing up and then you get over here this one starts at the top so the bottom one can slot in there this and then top and then it's got a downward facing stair and it's just little things like that and yeah you can see the redstone but i don't think that's a big deal you can't fit a boat through there so it's not like anybody's going to actually be using this um but it, little things like that really help your build for for at least me personally i know that that gate would work to an extent i mean in minecraft terms it would work and would lock and would be a successful gate I thought about adding some iron bars, but I don't think it's necessary. I think the main thing they have to worry about is just boats coming in. It's not, this is not the security checkpoint. Security checkpoint is on the other side. Um, that's where all the cargo and stuff gets checked before it can actually come through. Um, and that's also why I didn't mind having some stuff on the docks here. I figured some, where did you come from? Oh, whatever. Uh, welcome to the docks of more i hope you enjoy your stay um i figure that all of the big ship and stuff will be taken in and accountable taken into account here transferred over to the warehouse for storage and then any of these small things are things that are being potentially loaded up onto the boats while they're in here or are being offloaded that are just small little things that don't have like small little cargo ships and stuff um, and we will be making a boat at some time uh, we may like do a boat as a sort of gap episode um, in the gypsy camp like just come back here build a boat for fun and then go back to the gypsy camp that's kind of what i'm thinking that's what i'm thinking i don't think i'm quite done here but i'd like to start on the gypsy camp um pr pretty soon actually uh potentially next week i don't know um just because we do i'd still have ideas and stuff for this place and i think this place definitely is it's starting to really feel like a town um we've got like the once we get this area and this area done it'll feel very much like a town a, a more finished town um and so i'd like to get it to that point um but do it intermittently um but yeah so i think i'm really happy with how the docks look uh, i'm really happy with the time lapse actually the time lapse actually turned out better than i thought it would um and i'm happy with the gate i think the gate Ooh, something we need to do i forgot it makes the map look really cool it makes the wall actually look like it's got a gate that works and it's opening um let's see so right now we got a little white line wham boom look at that that's pretty sick i love it look at that it's like a little little gate that's opening it's just like hey and we could build a boat like coming into here to make it actually look like like the boat's sitting right there or something or maybe there's a boat that's getting its Ooh, we got ideas maybe that'll be the boat we first built now we need a boat in here we'll build both boats how about we'll just have a boat boat building episode 
Um, but I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I am super happy with how the docks look now. I'm super happy that they they feel much more fin finished. I uh, don't know where my throat gave out there for a second. <laughs> I couldn't finish the word. Um, super happy with how the docks are looking. And I, I, I'm hoping that this will satisfy <laughs> some of you. Because some of you have definitely been like, hey, 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 man, the docks, the docks finish the docs they could be so much better and I, I totally agreed with you just didn't know how to approach it until now um but i'm super happy with how this looks super happy with everything and how it's coming about we got room for what probably four boats maybe not a small boat here bigger boat bigger boat and small boat um i would imagine really like these would be like small fishing boats on the side and then maybe potential little canoes throughout um, that people can just put on the water and then these would be bigger trading vessels um, not huge though uh, that's the thing is I think I don't think this place is like even though they have a fish market and stuff I don't imagine that they would have tons and tons of imports and exports coming through here this is not like the hub um, dock or anything I don't think it's big enough so yeah, I'm really happy with how everything is. Hope you guys are happy with this. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse. Uh, they're super fun to make. I'll try and figure out Optifine so we don't have purple weird, purple and black crates. Uh, if, if not, then I'm sorry. We'll probably just have to figure out what's going on there. I may w mess with the textures. It could be a texture thing as well um, with the B-dubs resource pack because um, currently that's what that's what they are is B-dubs as textures. Um, so it may work with that, make them a little bit more updated into our wood textures. Uh, and let, let me know, what do you guys like the wood textures? I never, I don't really know if I actually heard tons of feedback on them. Uh, I know a couple of you wanted the updated resource pack to get the wood textures, so I imagine they are not bad. Uh, the ones, I'm still thinking about changing a bit of the uh, spruce and the acacia. I think that the spruce could use a little bit more oh like a little I'm trying to make me slam I slammed it in my own face slam slam yes um I really I'm pretty happy with the jungle wood I think it looks pretty good um and the dark oak I think it looks pretty good I think the spruce needs more of these little like nails is what I imagine these little dots darker dots to be is like nails and I think the spruce could use a little bit more of that I think right now it looks a little bit like siding um, without any nails like this is fine this has dots um, but this does not have as noticeable dots um, and I think that could be helpful to make that look a little different but like I said before when I actually came out with these it just takes a little getting used to like now I'm totally used to them I I don't think anything of it I personally love this I I don't know why but I just love this mixture with the uh, trap door I think it just looks looks fantastic um, but I'd love to hear you guys feedback on that and I uh, hope you guys also if you have any feedback on this um, would love to hear that and on this really just feedback all around on anything love to hear from you um, and we are actually approaching 150 subscribers so thank you so much to all who have subscribed and all you newbies and all you here from the get-go I remember I still see as some of you from the uh, very beginning from when I had like four subscribers that was a fun time uh, it's nuts to think that I'm like right near 150 I'm gonna do some some sort of i think when we get to around 200 subscribers i'll probably do like a q a thing uh so super su super though i don't know what i was gonna say look forward to that i guess um because at this rate we're <laughs> we're fast approaching honestly um and so yeah i i think that's gonna do it for this episode i think i'm just gonna start rambling if we continue talking so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse of all this and are happy with how the docks have turned out. I'm really happy with it. I think they're really great. Um, and I'm really happy with this. And it looks like pigs on duty. Oh, never mind. He's leaving his post. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you like the episode, like it in real life, if you uh, enjoy what I'm doing and want to 
be a part of this little family, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode.